Hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom BPOW Picks Edition. And yesterday, I gave you all the picks in the land, and it wasn't too bad, actually. Um, although they did change, I did change some around later on in the day at BPOWPicks.com, and we ended up being up three units in hockey and 14 units overall. Uh, ball was amazing. Major League Baseball, we were five and one. Uh, basketball, we were three and two, and uh, you can be all part of that, you know. You know, you can. All you got to do is put, send in the comment section here on YouTube, uh, in my uh, in this video, say I would like free picks. I will send you a link. You will get the Telegram app, and I will send you over, and you can get picks for the playoffs, uh, for free. Just to check out how it works, I got new, uh, I'm, I'm doing this a lot of it because I'm changing things around a little bit, um, adding more groups. So if you like ball and you only want ball, you can get that at a lesser price, basketball. Uh, we're going to have a premium pick group where you just get the best picks of all the uh, sports. Um, in a limited fashion, and we're going to keep our hedge group that I have right now where you get lots of plays and are up lots. How much? 650, over 650 units since the beginning of the hockey season, which is, if you don't know what units are, for most people, that's $6,500 this year. So you could be part of that, and all you got to do is send a link down there. And then later, you can pick a package and be part of the family, the Perlo family. Woo! It's good times, my friend. If you like frolic, making money, check it out. Um, okay, I gave you all the picks yesterday. We did all right. Uh, like I said, but if you would have been with the group, you would have got all the other um, new nuances that came in through the day, and I changed some picks from yesterday. But today, we're going to do the same thing. Last games of the regular season i'm going to do all 15 games totals and sides and again if you want to get the finished product send me a link down there in the comment section all right let's take a look at it uh columbus versus pittsburgh and i'm going to go i'm going to fly with columbus here i just don't think pittsburgh's going to be into this game the only thing is that it is at home, which has me a little bit. Pittsburgh is at home, which might make them a little more into this game. Maybe they want to, you know, be going for the playoffs. Uh, they don't want to be on a go into the playoffs on a losing note. But honestly, the Pittsburgh Penguins generally uh, don't worry about all that. They can turn it on when they they want it want to. They seem to act like that. If you're going to play this game at all, you might as well take the four times your money and see if Columbus can do it. They beat Tampa Bay last night. Um, they are going to have their backup, and they're on a back-to-back. -back. On paper, they should never win this game in a million years. Maybe go plus one and a half. As far as the total is concerned, um, oops, six and a half. In a normal situation, I would say this is an over, but I think Pittsburgh will probably play fairly defensively. I don't think they're going to do the things you need to do to score a lot. That's the reason why I think they may end up losing this game, and I'm going to go the under on that. Weird under, which is last game of the season, there's a lot of weird stuff that happens. Okay, the Buffalo Sabres versus the Chicago Blackhawks. Um the Buffalo Sabres are retiring, uh, not they are retiring, their longtime commentator, and I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now, comment in the comment section to remind me, is a legend. And I have a feeling they're going to want to win this for them. Not to mention Buffalo has not been choking uh, or tanking, as they say. They've been trying to win games and trying to build up their morale. This is a, a team that, really can't afford to uh, – they're trying to build up a new life for themselves uh, and a new look for themselves and a new feel for themselves after Eichel getting traded and having a lot of losses. So I have a feeling they're going to give her here. Um, 
first of all, I'll say Chicago can score as well. They're going to have Dalia in that, who is really not that great. Also, Anderson's going to be in for Buffalo, and this could be his last game if, if unless he decides to come back next year. Um, so there's plenty of reason for Buffalo to play their butt off here. And I think Chicago has been playing like whatever. Just get the season over with. So I am going to take Buffalo here. And again, I'm going to take the over. Florida versus Montreal. This is kind of difficult because Montreal is going to want to win this game. I wouldn't even doubt if Montreal outplays Florida in this game. Bobrovsky will be in net for Florida. He's been okay. Florida could, I mean, could be looking ahead to the playoffs here all day. They're on the road. It's sort of like, are they going to be in let's get this over with mode? I, I think they could be. But the problem is Montreal's putting Price in net, and he's been terrible so far. However, if, if you're going to play this game at all, I think... Montreal is what to do here. You know, I, a lot of dogs I'm taking here. As far as the over-under is concerned, I think Florida is going to be trying to play as defensive as possible here. they got to play defensive to uh, in, in the playoffs. It gives them a chance to practice up on that. I'd lean the under, it, although it's very difficult to do with these two teams. So, But I would lean the under here. Uh, New Jersey versus Detroit. Last time these guys played, which is just a couple games ago, um, New Jersey I, apparently had a flu bug going through. They they didn't play well at all. Detroit ended up winning 3 nothing, and Detroit was pl- uh, p- coming off a lot of games played. Um, they really should have won that game. I have a feeling Blackwood will be in net for New Jersey. And for Detroit, they it hasn't been confirmed yet, but I think it'll likely be Nedeljkovic. I don't, I don't think they're going to play Grice here. Um, it's possible that they play Grice just because it could be his last year. So let's say they do. I think New Jersey's going to come out hard. They're not going to want Detroit to... Uh, they're, they're a little bit of a revenge game here to kind of show them that, hey, you know what, we're not that. So I'm going to take New Jersey here, and I I do like the over here. Um, Blackwood hasn't been playing well. Detroit will probably want to finish off their season as strong as possible. Um, The only way they would be under is if both of them are not wanting to win because in the back of their minds or maybe straight in their minds, they're looking at draft position. But I doubt it. When players get on the ice and they get going, you got the hometown crowd going. I think both of them will probably give a pretty good show here. I'm going to lean the over. Uh, Rangers versus the Washington Capitals. Now, neither one of these teams have anything to play for, although Washington probably should. They just got beat back-to-back against the Islanders. Sam Sonoff will be in net for the Washington Capitals, and the Rangers will be flying with Gorgiev. Now, that should spell an over here. Um, the thing is, is I just don't know how much the Rangers or the Washington are going to care about this game. Um, I, I really would lay off this game completely. If I had to do it, I, I is uh, let's see what the money line is. The Rangers, are, you might as well take the Rangers at home. Might as well. You're getting 195 for the Rangers at home right here with Sam Sonoff in that. Uh, and Washington has been losing like crazy right now. No Ovechkin in the lineup for Washington as well. Um, the one question we have is, are they going to be sitting some guys here? So I'm going to I'm going to go the Rangers. What the heck? Yeah. And for a total, the Rangers are probably again they've been playing very defense. They've been playing very well defensively, and I think that'll hold up here and keep going. I think the Rangers probably win this like 3 nothing. Let's go under. Under 5.5. Philadelphia versus the Ottawa Senators. Um, both of these teams should be trying to save face. Ottawa is actually playing Forsberg back-to-back here. They are on a back-to-back, though. Um, and I believe Philadelphia will be playing Jones. Beach Ball Jones. 
I, I actually think this could be an angry game. Uh, this is one of, I think there could be a lot of fighting in here. I think Ottawa is, if they're going to lose, they're going to lose fighting. So with that in mind, I think that could take away from some of the goal scoring that could happen. It's weird. Uh, it, I think I would, I would honestly, what's the spread? Can you get a decent spread? Not really. Um, take Philadelphia at home, I guess. But honestly, I fade that game. Maybe over. Tough game. Tough game to cap, really. Boston versus Toronto. Toronto is going to be sitting everybody. Uh, Matthews is going to be sitting. Marner is going to be sitting. Uh, Boston's going to be sitting a bunch of their guys as well. Swayman and Net. Uh, I, I think Boston, the players that they do play, are still going to want to win this game more than Toronto. I just have that feeling. Um, not to mention... Boston's going to be playing the kid. Uh, uh, where the heck is it? Schalberg. That's how you say it, right? Yeah, or, or Schalgren, I should say. I always want to say Schalberg. Um, and he hasn't played well. He just hasn't played well. Boston's on a back-to-back. -back. I'm going to lean Boston. I just think that they have the type of uh, – um, they have the type of uh, game and mentality that would win a game like this. They can find the reason to win. They just want to stick it to Toronto. Um yeah, I'm going to lean Boston in that game. Next, we'll go Tampa Bay versus the Islanders. Take the Islanders. Tampa Bay, like losing to Columbus last night was ridiculous. Vasilevsky will be a net against Sorokin. I guess go the under. Um, I don't think Tampa Bay is going to be trying too hard in this game again. I doubt it. They're on the road. Uh, they don't. They're not doing the things that you need to do to score. They're playing very perimeter, trying to make sure nobody gets hurt. Uh, the Islanders are on a back-to-back, -back, though. And uh, they, they did win last night against Washington. Uh, I, I think they want to send a message to their fans that, that, you know, we're still a great team and we're going to be good next year. And uh, they'll probably take the – I'm going to say take the there, – there's another dog pick for you. Uh, as far as the total is concerned uh, – Sorokin and Van, take the under. Minnesota versus Colorado. Minnesota coming off a of back-to-back. -back. Colorado on a back-to-back. -back. Colorado had to do the, some travel. They're going to have Francois in that. Minnesota's going to have Flurry in that. Honestly, I think Min uh, Flurry will probably let a couple in. He's been terrible. He has been terrible. Francois has not been great his last couple starts. Um... Minnesota's got more to play for. They still have to – I think they still have to solidify their – yeah, they have to solidify their spot So to get home ice advantage against St. Louis. Let's take Minnesota here. And uh, I'm going to go the over. Six and a half. If Minnesota's playing with some spirit and Flurry lets a couple in, this, this could – lean towards the over for sure. Uh, Vegas versus St. Louis. I'm not taking Vegas for nothing. I am totally fading this that team. They are down in the dumps. Uh, I don't, don't seem to be able to find any way to get some pride to play. Uh, they look completely discombobulated. Uh, Logan Thompson will be a net. He hasn't been good. St. Louis is putting Huso in, so I would think that that, me, that rings to me that they, they want to win this game and they want to get that home ice advantage. So I'm going to take St. Louis Blues in regulation. Um, and uh, I'm going to go the over here too. I just think I have a feeling St. Louis could just slaughter Vegas tonight. And Vegas might be able to pot a couple. What's the total on that? Six? Yeah, let's go the over. 
Uh, Winnipeg versus Calgary. I'm going to take Winnipeg here. Calgary really has nothing to play for here. I don't think, I mean, as much as they always play with pride, it's a Sutter team. They lost to Minnesota last night. They gave up, they played hard in that game. And I still think Winnipeg's won the last couple games. I still think Winnipeg wants to play hard for their fans at home. It's another dog pick. Take Winnipeg, money line. And uh, I think uh, Calgary will be playing their backup, Ladar. Um, swing the over. Swing the over. What's the total? Uh, that maybe a six and a half. That might be a little high. Probably just fade. I would fade the total. I would fade the total because Calgary may just. If Winnipeg gets up early, Calgary might be just like you know what. It's been a good year, so. Uh, Dallas Anaheim. I have no idea. Take Anaheim plus one and a half. I guess uh, Anaheim might play hard. They're terrible on the road though. Dallas doesn't really need to win the game. And uh, I have no faith in Dallas and what they do. So, and I'm plus one and a half to keep it close. And as far as the total is concerned, it's probably under. And it's a five and a half. I would fade it, but if you had to ask, if you twist my arm, I'll say under. Uh, Vancouver Edmonton. I like Edmonton against Vancouver here. They had uh, a tough comeback win against LA. Um, I think maybe are they, no, they're out of it, right? They're totally out of it here. Um, I think Edmonton wants to keep this ball rolling. There was a lot of bad energy throughout the season and they've gone on a pretty good streak. Uh, they came back against San Jose last night. Um, Vancouver also played last night, uh, and they had to travel. So I think Edmonton wants to keep that energy rolling here. And with Smith and net, I'm going to take Edmonton in regulation. Uh, see, uh, as far as the total is concerned, I think they want to score a lot too. I think they, I think Edmonton wants to keep going the way they play and keep their game fresh and, and, uh, strong. So I'm going to lean the over here. San Jose versus Seattle, uh, Seattle's last home game. I'm taking Seattle against San Jose. I don't think San Jose has anything to play here at all. They may want to play with, for some pride. But um, it's a six. They want to play with some pride, but they're going to have Kakinen, in, and he has not looked good in San Jose. Um, Seattle will probably go with Drigger, I guess. Um, and I like Drigger better than Grubauer. If they go with Grubauer, I could see an over here for sure. I think that's the play here, over six. And maybe with all these overs I'm talking about, Look at uh, Grand Salami, too, over Grand Salami. Arizona versus Nashville. Um, this is tough. Arizona is going to want to win for their fans here. Uh, I believe they're going to have uh, – actually, they, it doesn't say who's going to be starting here, but my thinking would be that they're going to go with their best starter for this game, which would be Vimalka. And the Predators are playing a minor league guy, Connor Ingram. Um, I'm – Go the Coyotes. What the heck? Uh, the Predators don't have all that much to play for. I, I do believe, though, since I got you here, uh, let's see, if Dallas does win, it's going to put them in the last seed, and they're going to have to play Colorado. Wow. Um, they don't want that. I, I don't think that they're going to want that anyways. But they're also going to be a little tired, and I think they might give up the ghost. It's a tough game. I would fade that game. Nashville could come out hard in, at, uh, early, um, and uh, try to and then try to hold on to the lead after that. Uh, so I could see Nashville first period being a pretty good play there. But I wouldn't take anything else. Look at that. I'm not even uh, talking about Nashville first period and stuff like that. Those are the plays that I won on last night. I won on team total plays. And if you want those, comment in the comment section. I'll give them to you. Also, sub yourself up to the channel. Um, 
I'll give them to you. With Ingram and Net, Arizona trying to play as hard as they can. I could see again this being over. I could see Nashville just go given everything that they got to get up, but still and still end up losing this game. Arizona plus one and a half, and maybe go the over. Uh, it could be an that could this could be a really interesting game. Uh, if Nashville does get win this game, then they got to play Calgary, which isn't much easier than Colorado, but. I mean, Colorado's Colorado. They won the West, so probably not the team you want to play against. I think they'll be driven to a certain degree. Interesting game. Okay, that's my full 42. Um, that's all I have to give to you today. What do you guys think about that? Tell me what your picks are down there in the bottom, by the way. Let me know what your picks of the day are. Uh, also, let me know what you think the Stanley Cup uh, winners are going to be. Uh, who's going to, you know, your bracket. Give me your bracket down there in the, in the comment section as well. I'd love to hear from you. That's my full 42. Have a great day, everybody. Okay, bye.